fact, during the Cold War, a Romanian sports scientist defected from the Soviet bloc to Germany, and he had made an incredible discovery. He had discovered that if we have elevated blood lactate levels, this would in turn lower blood pH levels, which would send a signal to our brain boosting our growth hormone production, which would make us stronger, bigger, and leaner. Exactly how much does this growth hormone production increase? Well, first, we have to briefly discuss how we elevate our blood lactate levels. And we do this through anaerobic training, which is why most of these studies involve sprinting. Now, I'll put a link in the description box where they studied a group of sprinters to see how much their growth hormone production increased. And they studied them doing six second sprints and 30 second sprints. And from this, we learn two important things. One, our growth hormone production can be boosted by over 450%. And two, the duration of our effort matters. So today on Fit and 50, we are going to explore how to use this information in our own training programs. Now, I'm not the first person to come across this information nor am I the first person to use anaerobic training in their fitness program. As a matter of fact, there's a famous strength training coach named Charles Poliquin, and he was really the first person to use this anaerobic lactic acid style of training. Now, you might not know him by name, but you will know him by his programs. He's the man behind the German volume training. And his system for lactic acid anaerobic training is called German Body Composition System. Now this lactic acid style of training, what it is really good at doing is improving our body composition while allowing us to keep our hard earned muscle and not only keep it, but add to it as we continue along in the process. So as we noticed in that study I referenced, duration of the working set matters. Now what they found is that blood lactate levels peak around the 50 to 70 second mark. So we try to make our sets around that length. And we do this one of two ways, or we can do a combination of them. And that is we increase the amount of reps per set, or we decrease the tempo or pace of these reps. And we can do this by reducing both the concentric and eccentric portion of these reps. Now when it comes to intensity, we want to keep our intensity level high pushing ourselves near failure on each set, allowing only a minimal amount of rest. Most of the programs that I reviewed, the rest times were under a minute. And when it goes to the amount of sets that they do, sometimes they would do these sets as straight normal sets like we typically do, or they do it as a circuit. And oftentimes they would superset lower body with upper body. So they do something like squats with bench, or deads with pull-ups, so you can really see how brutal this workout could be. And then they would do these sets or circuits three to four times. As with most hormone building programs, lactic acid training works best with multi-joint exercises. So when should we be incorporating this style of training into our programs? Well, because it works so well at improving our body composition while allowing us to keep our gains, it is great anytime you're looking to drop some body fat. Now you can train either solid block of time just exclusively with anaerobic lactic acid style training where you train like three times a week allowing lots of time for rest and recovery because this training program is super intense or you can take one day a week where you train with this anaerobic style of training and just add it in to your already designed program. What is important here is that we need to understand how our body responds to different stimulus. Now whether that stimulus be how we train or how we eat, how our bodies respond is what's going to take us from the fitness level we're at now and bring us up to that next level. So this is Lawrence from Fit and 50 signing out. Keep working out. Keep having fun. And we will talk to you again in that next video.